Hey, I'm Ethan Cox. I am with Community Beer Works in Buffalo, New York. I'm a certified Cicerone, and we're going to talk about how to pour your beer into the right glassware so that you maximize your beer's potential. So this is a standard shaker glass, and this is actually something that you'll see everywhere, but it's your least favorite beer glass, quite honestly. The thick glass doesn't present the beer very nicely. It doesn't let light through. And the form of the glass doesn't trap the aromas very well. Aromas are a really big part of flavor. This is a no-neck pint. It's a British style. And one thing that's really nicer about this than your standard shaker, it's large. It's meant to hold 20 ounces. So you can pour a beer right into this glass, have a nice big head, not have to worry about it uh, blowing over. This is an ideal glass for pouring a Hefeweizen. Why? Hefeweizens have wheat in them. Wheat is extra protein. Extra protein means they have a lot of foam, right? They have a big head. When you want to pour a Hefeweizen, you need a very roomy glass. This is a good roomy glass that will let you easily pour that beer and accommodate a nice protonaceous head. This is the fabled Sam Adams Perfect Pint. They spent a whole lot of money devising and designing this glass. The uh, shape here is meant to be good at trapping aromatics while you drink so that you get lots of uh, aroma right up your nose. There isn't a lot of beer down here, means that when you're holding it, you're not warming up the beer. This uh, little lip is designed to deliver the beer to the midsection of your tongue, which is a little bit sharper at perceiving sweetness, so this enhances the malty qualities of their beer. There's also a little bit of laser etching on this lip to give the beer a little bit of extra agitation as it comes in and release more aromatics and as well down at the bottom there is also a laser etching to provide nucleation sites for the carbonation so that your head stays nice and good all the way down. If I had only one glass shape then I would probably choose a tulip. Tulip's a good go-to shape for lots of different kinds of beers. What I like the tulip shape is that everything about kind of said about the Sam Adams glass. I mean it's got this nice bowl does a good job of trapping aromatics. This little lip delivers the beer a little further back in the tongue, which is nice. It's got a nice big bowl that you can kind of swirl the beer around in so you can get some aromatics off it. It's got a small stem so you're not warming up the beer while you hold it. It's basically everything you really have to have in glass. This is a great go-to glass. Okay, we're gonna pour an IPA into the Sam Adams Perfect Pint. Now, quite honestly, the Perfect Pint is sort of designed to accentuate malt flavors, and this is a beer that does not. But uh, that's okay, uh, because a pour is a pour, and I'm kind of going to show you how to pour here. So, I rinsed it first. Rinsing a glass is always a good idea. Then, again, you want to start at a nice angle so that you're not building up too much head to start with. Then when you get about two-thirds to three-quarters, go ahead and pour right down the center and develop a nice, decent head. Why? Because the head traps aromatics and flavor is really as much about taste as it is smell, so you want to concentrate that. Pale Bach going into the all-purpose tulip glass. Again, rinsed out, ready to receive beer. Kind of go ahead and angle to start, and then at the end, go ahead and build a nice, decent head. Better to get the smell. So hopefully you've learned a little bit about glassware, about how to treat your beer right. Because when you pay a little bit more for your beer, you should get the most you can out of it. And I think the whole presentation and flavor thing is enhanced by using uh, the right glassware. So moving forward, I hope to see you doing that. Cheers.